Good morning, toy fans, and welcome to another episode of the Saturday Toy Show by Valetron's Toy Choice. Myself, guys. So, on my little group, I showed you a little pickup that I had, and it's quite a cool little pickup, guys. To be fair. So, we have Magneto. Now, I can't believe I picked these up, guys, because I had loads of Toy Biz stuff, loads, back in the day, with all their cloaks and weapons. Um, the good thing about this is, is it, did, oh, it worked the other day, look, it's not working now. Anyway, he sparked it work the other day. Um, yeah, so we've got Magneto. We've got the Mighty Four. Now, guys, why did I pick this? Why did I go for four? Can you guess? <laughs> That's right, guys. He's blue. And you know I love my blue figures. But I, do, I love the character 4 anyway. He is one of my favourite Marvel characters. So, I'll be looking out for a small hammer for him. And there's two more figures with this little pickup, guys. Now, you've got Spider-Man. Everyone loves a Spider-Man. This one is probably the worst condition one. He has got a little tiny bit of a loose leg, but nothing too bad. So we've got Spider-Man himself there. Now this is the one, guys. This is the one that really caught my eye. And it's Ghost Rider. Now look at this guy here. Look at the detail on him. Now I think there was meant to be a couple of bits here. I'm not even sure because... What was I doing the other day? Oh, if you do that, you can see his chest coming in and out. So I'm not sure if there's any parts missing, but he's in really good condition. And I just love the way the flames and that come out. Absolutely awesome stuff. Really, really cool figure. So really happy to add him to the collection. So guys, let's go to the Mega Drive. Come on, let's do the Mega Drive early. So guys, this week's Mega Drive game is nothing other than another world. Now guys, this is not my normal gameplay. Um, I, I just picked it up because it's it actually came with another game which featured in next week's toy show. But guys, let's check out some of the gameplay. So guys, this is the gameplay. I've skipped the intro. It's just Sega and all that. Um, it does look like a bit of a slow game. Not my kind of game at all. Um, but it's another Mega Drive game for the collection, guys. So this one probably won't ever be played, to be honest. But there you go. It's that's the gameplay, guys. So let's move on. So like I said, guys, it's not really my game, but it's just another Mega Drive game. It's not got the booklet, unfortunately. But it's another Mega Drive game. So guys, moving on. Now let's have a little rant because I'm in a ranty little mood, guys. Now Amazon. Oh, Amazon. What have you done, Amazon? So, guys, I... Look, my, my wife, Debbie, had a voucher, in all honesty. She, she play, You know you play these games online? She plays all these games, guys, and then gets points, points, points. And then she lets me get... Uh, she gets a £10 Amazon voucher. And I'm allowed to buy myself something from Amazon. So, I... This was in the cell. It's a Amazon figure. It's an Avatar figure. And I thought to so, myself, yeah, why not? But guys, when it arrived, when it arrived, it arrived like this. No packaging, no box around it, no protection at all. The bloke just handed me the figure, like, well, handed my wife the figure, like this. And guys, look at the back. Now you can see. You can see like, all that all around here was all stickers. I mean, you can't, it's like, yeah, you can hear my finger sticking to it. And then you can still see one of the stickers there where my wife couldn't get that bit off at the moment. Guys, what an absolute piss take. Honestly, I mean, I mean, it looks all right on display that way. So, you know, but I told Amazon I weren't happy about it at all. It's an absolute joke absolute joke but anyway so that is one of the um pickups guys 
But, oh, Amazon, honestly, you you really do wind me up sometimes. Not as much as Capel Toys, but you do wind me up. Anyway, guys, that's the first pickup of the week. Now, guys, there's a few things I can show you this week, but I'm going to go with turtles. Now, I've told you in my previous videos that I do not collect turtles. I've got the four main big guys, and I've got, I, I like collecting the rock steadies and bebops. Um... But I've had a change of heart, guys. I'm, 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 as you know, I'm trying to trim down my collection, and I'm going down the lines now of so out of the Master of the Universe. I'm going to keep Skeletor, Trapjaw, and Hall deck. Keep a few other little bits, but the main majority of my He-Man collection is going to go out the door um, to make some room. So I've always liked Leonardo. Leonardo is always my favourite turtle. Always has been, always will be. He's got the blue. Guys, come on. It, is, it was written in the stars. Look at my little blue Pac-Man there. <laughs> but yes, guys, so what have I done? I have picked up a couple of Leonardo figures. Um, and I'm glad about it. I'm glad about it. They've turned up and I'm really happy. Um, so let's go. I, I, I went on Smith's and I picked up a couple of little figures. So these arrived from Smith's now. I've got this one here, Leonardo the Leader. Now it's from the Mutant Mayhem new toys. Now I've been looking at these guys. I, I, I've been looking at these and looking at these. But I've eventually, like I said, I've decided to go with the Leonardos. So I'm going to get a couple of mint on card. So I've got this one here. And I love the little, like, it's got the little turtle there as well. See that? That is just absolutely awesome. They're, I mean, they're on the back, guys. You can see, like, there's another Rockstar and Bebop there. I've seen these in the shop so many times, and I've just not picked them up because, in my eyes, I already had Rockstar and Bebop. But I am definitely now going to go down the um, Leonardo line and pick up a few Leonardos. I'm not saying I'm going to go right to the retro ones, guys, but I'm, I'm I am picking up some now. This is one really sold it to me, guys. This guy really sold it to me, and it's another mutant mayhem. But guys, check this one out. It's a Cowboy Leo. Look at that. Look at that. Absolutely awesome. I'll tell you guys, look at else as well. Look. Blue rifle. Blue pistols. Ha ha ha. This one was made for me. I'll tell you that right now. I'll tell you now, guys. I might even I might even open this one so I can display him with the blue pistols. Because I think that'd be awesome. And I'll tell you what I love about Leonardo as well, guys. He's got the two samurai swords. I absolutely love Leonardo. He's, like I said, all the way since I was a kid at school, when the movies first came out, it was all about Leonardo for me. Because he was blue. He had the blue. I love blue figures. You know this, guys. Come on. So that is that one. <laughs> absolutely awesome. Absolutely awesome. Now, I picked up this guy as well. Uh, I don't know what I've got. One minute, guys. It's got a bloody stick on it. I don't know where that's come from. Lebo John. No, that's me. <laughs> You'll probably find that's one of the stickers of Avatar. So, guys, this one here, I really do like this, and this one's definitely going to be standing in the pack. It's movie star Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and it's Leo, obviously. Like I said, I'm collecting the. It's movie star Leo. So check this guy out. I love that. Look at that. He is awesome. It's got a different like um, skin feature to the normal ones. It's going to get a little smile with Steve. So yeah, absolutely awesome. The card is a little bit battered up on this one though. That's the only problem. But I'm not too fussed about it, guys. I'm just glad to add this Leo to the, the Leo collection. It's going to be a... Uh, Pronouncing up. I'm, I'm, I feel I'm going to sell my Super Shredder. Um, I feel I'm going to get rid of that now. I'm going to concentrate on the Leos. So, yeah. Cool. Absolutely cool. So, guys, I've got a delivery as well. So, let's just go and get that box right there. So, guys, I don't, I've not opened a box on live on screen for quite a while. But here we are. It's arrived. So that's, I normally pre-open them as well, but oh, I've got a straight point of tape. I'll oh, just stab myself with a bloody leg. 
<laughs> oh, so this one's come open pretty easy enough so that's really cool guys really cool so like I said we've got another box here absolutely cocooning and stuff which is great yes yeah, so it's another Leo guys it is another Leo now this is a real issue obviously guys we're not stupid I don't think I'm going to pay out anything crazy well at the moment I can't do it anyway but I'm not going to pay out anything crazy of like going some of the right old retro ones but I just want a few Leos I've got a samurai sword Leo in there as well I'm waiting for some weapons from James Retro Holder, the man in yellow. I'm waiting for some uh, weapons from him to arrive. So yeah, I've got this guy here, guys. And it's obviously um, a reissue. But it's still a really cool figure. Really cool. And like, there you go, there's his samurai swords there. So yeah, guys, so that was it. Looking on the back. you got them ones there. So yeah, really, really... Uh, Oh, this is the one with a storage shell. I didn't even know that. Guys, I didn't even know that. I actually just thought this was just a reissue of the uh, original. So that means I might have to go and see if I can find the original. Unless that is the original. I don't know, guys. I don't know much about the turtles. Obviously, I know about the cartoons and the characters and all that. But the amount... I know there are so many turtles out there. If you want um, Ed's Retro Geek Hat, his turtle collection is absolutely insane. And uh, that's, why I'm, that's why I stay away from it. But I'm just going to collect a few Leos. Because um, he's my favourite turtle. For the hundredth time in this video. <laughs> so guys. You've seen the new four turtles. You've seen the four Leos. Let's go to the boot sale. Come on. What's the dance away? Pound. Pound, yeah. Yeah, I'll take that. How much is your bag of soldiers? How much are your pops, mate? Uh, pop, uh, mm -hmm. pop the quidditch. Yeah. 
So guys, first of all, I'm so glad that this boot sale happened because all week it has been this. Yeah, so guys, I mean, amazing. I mean, yesterday's weather was so sunny. It was awesome. Now, there was so much... No, there wasn't. There wasn't so much at the boot sale, but there was options. Let's go with that. There was options at the boot sale. Um, you'll see in the video that um, there was a big, well, not a big bag. It was about that size bag of Britain's Napoleon toy soldiers. The lady wanted £10 from guys. £10. I, I do collect Britain soldiers, but at the moment that's a little bit rich for me because I'm thinking of offloading off my soldier toy collection as well. I'm really thinking about trimming it down there, guys, honestly. Um, so, I mean, if those five pound, I might have picked them up because, uh, you know, you know, they might have been a few other bits in the bag. It was hard to see really what was in the bag, but I left them anyway. Um, so, there was, what else? Uh, there was a big John Snow, you see that? Um, I, I left him as well. I didn't even ask the price of him. I have got a couple of Game of Thrones. But I'm more about the Nightwalkers, guys. I've got a couple of Nightwalker figures. And I said to Debs, if I pick up Jon Snow, it might open up another rabbit hole. And I really would, don't know more rabbit holes. I don't know hares. I don't know rabbits. Stay away from me. Go away. <laughs> anyway, so. Uh, what else was there? You saw there was a, an Optimus Prime kind of thing. Um, I think it was one of the, the Beast ones. Beast Wars, whatever they are. Um, I've already got a big um, Optimus Prime in an ape shape. And it was a little bit flimsy, guys. I didn't know if it was complete or not. So I left that as well. And um, what else was there? There was a, a, a couple of bits. There was a few Xbox 360 games that I didn't pay much attention to. Um, but and there, oh, guys, there was, a, there was a bloke walking around with a trolley. And it, it was just full of games. Honestly, it was just full of games. Um, so we did get, we got there about an hour after it opened. Because if you get there at 5 o'clock, it's never anything open, guys. You're just literally standing around waiting for stalls to open. So, guys, let's show you what I did pick up. Um, so, my wife bought me this for Christmas. So, but I'm going to show you it. And like, guys, this is a really cool buy. Um, it really is cool. As you know, I love the Terminator. So, I'm going to take it out of this bag. And this, look guys, look at this just for a little showpiece. How awesome is that? Guys, guess how much this was. Honestly, honestly, guess how much. Not £15, not £10, £5 guys. It was only £5. And it's just a cool piece just to put in your Terminator collection. Happy fucking days. Oh, sorry, lad. Sorry, YouTube. So, yeah, well happy with that, guys. Well happy with that. That's going to go back in now. I'll put the bag over it again in a minute. So, that's it in that bag. Now, oh, there's my little, my little pan coin bag. Look. <laughs> so, talking of turtles, I found this guy here. Um, the bloke wanted £2 for him. I've already got this figure. And I don't think it was worth £2, because I'm really being a bit picky now, guys, because of space and all that. But as I was walking away, he went, no, 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 £1, £1, £1. So I took him for a pound. I can't knock him back for a pound, but he will be going straight out, straight out the door again. When uh, Dev does another toy fair. So that's that. I also managed to pick up Scar, now, you didn't, this is not in the footage, guys, but you know I've been after him, and you know I didn't have him. Uh, we was walking, this is when we was leaving the boot sale, and there's, it's, it's a big stall there, and it's full of toys and all that, but some of it's really overpriced. Anyway, there was two little stalls in front of it. It's obviously the boys, the father's sons, and I saw Scar, so I said, how much do you want for Scar, mate? He went, oh, one minute, one minute, run over to his dad, come on, one pound. Now, I thought to myself, do you know what, for a quid, I'll tell you that. And I'll put him up there with Mustafa. And that, that will be my... That is that is it for the Lion Kings, mate. I'm not going to get Simba or nothing like that. I just want the two main lions. 
for the Disney collection. So that is pretty cool, guys, to have that for a pound. Lovely jubbly. <laughs> so, <coughs> guys, you did see me in the video. There was a stall standing pops, guys. Pops, and I don't collect pops. Steve really White. Yes, you. I don't collect pops. Um, I do collect, um, what are they? Cl Killer Clowns from Outer Space Pops. But guys, I, I, this guy had this and he wanted, he said a couple of quid of each pop. He did have a couple of Venom ones. Um, but I just thought myself, uh, no, because I'm going to, I'm getting too much into pops. But this guy, I couldn't leave this guy for two pound. And it's a clan. It is a clan. And it's just, I love Derry. I thought that's absolutely awesome for two pound. So that guy come home with me. 100%. So moving on, guys. Now, I will show you. A bit pointless, but I will show you. You know we bought that shoe house for the uh, grandchildren when they finally come. We needed some little men. So I'm going to go through every one of them. But basically, there was a load of these. These are retro as you like, guys. And uh, the bloke wanted 50p for the lot. No, 50p each. So we bought an handful of them. But then... We picked up some more, which is a couple of little vehicles. And there's some more little men in here. Anyway, we five pound the whole lot, and uh, Deb just said, "Yes, we'll take that, please." So now the little shoe house has got loads of little people to go with it. So that's awesome. Now, guys, my favourite pickup of the boot sale. You'll see it in the footage, and this is virtually as soon as we walked in. As soon as we walked in, I spotted it. And look at this beauty. Look at that. Now that is awesome. I love it. I absolutely love it. Look at that. And as you can hear, it does work. Sounds like the wife at night. Um, <laughs> sorry, it does not really plan. Yeah, one pound, guys. The, the lady wanted one pound for it. What's an absolutely beautiful piece. So I'm, well, well, I don't know what that does. I think it just moves the towel. Anyway, it works. And that one last week, guys, I told you it didn't work. I was trying to push the button down. You didn't have to, you just had to slide the button. And it literally just, oh, that's what that does, look. It just moves the, moves the head. So yeah, one pan, guys. Absolutely killer. So that was it for the boot sale, guys. Um... And I'll show you a couple more things. I've, I've got a charity shop pick up. Um, now, my wife's got a little... She's starting to collect the tiny little pops. And I saw this guy here. Look, 50p. You can see it there, 50p. And uh, <laughs> you've got a friend in me. <laughs> so that's going to be a... Um, I've picked up for Debs. Now, I also picked this up. Now, as you can see, it's got 80p on it. And I picked this up to go in my Disney collection, guys. In my Disney collection. But the wife saw it and she went, nah. Nope. I went, what? She went, nope. He's going in my Disney stuff. I was like, what? I said, I picked him up. Because I love him. I see what's happening here. But no, she's not having it, guys. She, she snicked it. She has absolutely took it off me. I was like, oh, wow. So, yeah. So, guys, that is it for this week's Saturday Toy Show. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed the little um, little bit of humour. Uh, there is a lot of outtakes coming up, guys. It's not in this week's. Uh, week's so I could have put that in. Uh, this week's show, because I've got to build them up a little bit. And I don't want to make it, you know, I want them to be legit as they, uh, as they possibly can be. So, yeah, that's it for this week's show, guys. Please hit the like and subscribe button. My name's Vader Johns Toy Chest. Guys, thank you for all your support. Thanks for watching. Hit that like button, guys. <coughs> and please, please, please leave some comments, guys. Bye.